the SEC is transferring their schedule from CBS to ESPN starting this next year. Next year, uh, yep. 2024, and of course, uh, during the week, the SEC conference opponents were announced. We don't know dates, but we know teams. Um, let me pull it up here. Uh, games you're most excited for. I know all of y'all. I'm not going to read every matchup. That would take forever. But yeah. uh, give me a game, Tyler, you're most excited for in the tw- uh, 2024 season. Yeah, the game that I'm excited for is this rivalry is finally coming back. It's Texas and Texas A&M at, at yes. Kyle Field. I kind of wanted it to be at Austin. Uh, that way, AM fans are just more pissed off uh, at, at Texas for coming in. But I think that the SEC granted them a home game for this one. So it's always a bloodbath. Both teams uh, hate the ever living guts out of each other. Uh, so I'm excited for, for the new SEC. Oklahoma got shafted. You know, yeah, the they SEC. did. They got a gauntlet. Not only have to play Alabama, you know, Tennessee, Texas, and then the Ole Miss, Auburn. It's like, you know, they had to and travel LSU. to LSU. It's like, welcome to the SEC, brethren. So I think that Texas got the, the lighter end of it. Uh, I definitely think, you know, they have Alabama, you know, at home. They have Georgia. So I think all in all, Oklahoma definitely <laughs> got the wrong end of the stick of this one. But ex- the matchup I'm excited for is Texas uh, and Texas AM. and m Obviously, you could say Alabama and Georgia, but everybody knows that. Wait, who's your uh, most exciting matchup? Personal reasons, I'm excited for LSU at South Carolina. That yeah, hasn't happened be cool since to see. 2015. I was in high school, and that wasn't even supposed to happen. Uh, there was a flood in, yeah. uh, I guess, right before Baton we Rouge, moved in. Oh, no, it, yeah. was, it got moved to Baton Rouge. So they haven't yeah, played moved to Baton Rouge. Like 2012 or something. So I was at um, the last time, besides that, the time before, when we had the fake – extra point oh, yeah, touchdown <laughs> is pouring down rain i was sitting there with yep. my grandpa but so so. the last three games have been in baton rouge so i think uh i'll be making a trip in the fall of 24 to columbia um so that'll be a cool game to take in uh i guess with the addition i think you know seeing teams like georgia that and lsu that have come out in favor of the nine conference games for them to you know, immediately take on Oklahoma and Texas, respectively. I think that's pretty cool. Um, you know, just believe in what they they said, um, and the SEC's giving them giving them their money's worth. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to those matchups, and then uh, I'm really looking forward to just the new schedule in general. However, they end up setting it up. I heard this could be a one off schedule. Um, I think that's the that plan. Might revise it. Uh, but I think you're going to see college football kind of transition to more of a NFL type schedule where it'll be okay to lose a game or two in the regular season, um, you know, and, and you can still make the playoffs and and win the championship. So I think a lot of people have said this will kind of take the um, importance of the regular season away. And I, I disagree. I think that we'll have some really quality matchups. And then I think, just like we're seeing in Omaha, you know, like the, these teams weren't perfect, but they battled um, to the respective championship match. And and now, you know, you're seeing some battle tested teams have a chance to win it all. Um, and I think that that'll be really cool, uh, especially with some really good out of conference games set up too, like USC at LSU, UCLA uh, at yeah. LSU, yeah, Clemson at LSU in a couple of years. So, yeah. Um, Game I'm most excited for, um, mostly because they typically play in the SEC championship, is Georgia at Alabama. Or is it Alabama at Georgia? I don't remember which one. I think Georgia travels to Bama. Uh, that'll be fun to see in the probably middle of the of the season because you typically see them, like I said, at the end. And uh, But now it's like, well, these two teams got to play each other. I, it's You take away, like, um, what am I trying to say here? Where you have both teams, like it was always LSU versus Alabama, and whoever wins that game is going to the SEC championship. Now it's like, well, they could w- say L- Alabama could win that game, but then they lose to Georgia, and it's like, well, it mixes things up a little bit. So, well, without divisions, you know, that game could decide who ends up in the SEC championship and who's going to be in the gutter. So, in 2024, yeah. are they moving away from the divisions, or is yeah, that the divisions are no more? Yeah. So it's, it's just, just going to be the, the top, top two, two yeah, records and be the top two teams. I think the big 10 is doing that as well. So both of the, the mega conferences, if you will, are going to pretty much be in the same format. Okay. And I, like I, I think that works. Cause um, you'll, 
still have relevancy in the SEC championship and probably the Big Ten championship. Whoever wins that will be eligible for one of the top four seeds. Yeah, it would probably be like a one seed, you would have to assume. Yeah. Well, the biggest thing, like last year, you didn't see – I mean, obviously the two best teams in the Big Ten were Ohio State and Michigan, and then you see Michigan play Purdue um, in the Big Ten championship. Like nobody yeah. wants to see that. They want to see Ohio State play mm-hmm. Michigan again. Um, yeah. So I like I like that both conferences are moving towards whoever's the top two. That's who plays. I'm assuming it tiebreakers, it's head-to-head record at that, at that rate would probably be the yeah. best way to do it. Yeah, you'll get to a situation where – you still might not see the top two teams play each right. other in the regular season. I would take it a step further and have the tiebreaker be your college football playoff ranking if that's what matters at the end of the year anyways. I think you do tiebreaker is head-to-head, and if that's not the case – If they didn't look play, at, that's what I mean. Okay, yeah. That or you look at – Not common opponents. I mean, like – You go it, fantasy football-wise. You look at points scored versus points against. <laughs> whoever whoever has yep. the most, that's who gets it. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure they'll figure that out eventually. But I think, you know, 2024, still eight SEC games. And then uh, they haven't made a decision, but I I, I would imagine 2024. I think they eventually are going to go to the nine. nine. Well, we mentioned this uh, a while ago. A lot of it is like this deal they made with the ESPN was only for the 2024 season. So why give them an extra game for free? Yeah. It's a money, game, money thing. So um, And assure that in the inaugural 12 team playoff, you know, your teams have the best records possible. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You got to see how the playoff shapes up, and there's still a lot of questions unanswered. Yeah. But there's a lot I of like, parts that, that's still yet to be solved. LSU plays uh, Clemson that year, I think, anyways. So it's not like they're skimping out on a game. That yeah. is true. That is true. I mean, that's another rule. Like, you have to, like, each SEC team has to play, like, one Power Five school a year. I like that. And I think uh, this year, this coming 2023 season, they said that Georgia and LSU are the only two – or Florida and LSU are the only two to play mm-hmm. uh, 10 Power 5 opponents, but they're giving us the benefit of Army, which, you know, Army's a bowl team. I get it. I think that works. Army Army's no chance out. to upset us is what I don't like that we're playing them. Is, it's them and Appalachian have, State are like the two teams you never yeah. want to face on a Saturday. You know that flyover is going to be super cool, though. <laughs> oh, dude, the the yeah, that's going to be awesome. We'll probably break out some cool, like, military appreciation helmets or something. Um, the uh, I mean, I think it, Army is the weekend after Alabama, also. So I don't love that. Uh, so I mean, that's a potential upset. But of course, we'll get into college football previews once we get a little closer.